I got my GPS started, it's booting up, and it's gonna get us where we're going. We're going to North Georgia in a wildlife management area, and it says here there's gold. If we make it out of here, it'll be a miracle. We still gotta get the hell out of here. Geocaching is a modern day treasure hunt. It uses technology combined with good old fashioned detective work. People hide caches, post them online, and then challenge the public to find them. What could be cooler than that? I'm on the geocaching.com website looking for my next cache. We're going to North Georgia in a wildlife management area. First thing I'm gonna do is bring my gold pan because there's gold here. The next thing in North Georgia is loaded with snakes. So it ought to be great. I'm Mark Black here from Ipswich, Massachusetts, and I am an adventure traveler. After high school and four years in the military, the adventure had begun. I started a 12-year career supplying wild animals to zoos, where I developed a love for travel and adventure. After fulfilling a career in the zoo business, I sold my stocks and shares, built a truck, put a camper on it, and thus the birth of the geo. Come on, Mark. Come on, man. Sorry, dude. We're trying to shoot it. For those of you who don't know, geocaching started in 2000. This genius took a five gallon bucket and he put some beans and a couple other and sundries in it and put a lid on it. He found a spot, dug a hole, and buried it. He took the latitudinal and the longitudinal coordinates of the bucket and put it on a website. And that was the birth of geocaching. We've been on the road about an hour and a half and according to my Magellan Sport Track, we have 2.2 miles to our destination. We're here in North Georgia in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. And man, let me tell you what, this is some beautiful country. We just pulled off the highway and we're heading into the back country now. All right, here's our destination. The reason why we're taking this roadside trail instead of the trail inside the park is that we're gonna go through some game trails that are gonna make it a little bit more direct to where we're going. The coolest thing about geocaching is that it can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be. This particular cache, although hard to get to, might be easy to find. If you have a good GPS and some strong batteries, you'll be good to go. Keep your eyes peeled for places like this because this is where copperheads are hanging out. They might be curled up on the outside of this. It's a little cold so they're not moving around too fast, but this is where we're going to find them. Mark, you're beeping, man. Oh, oh, shit. I got low batteries, man. We gotta change these before I lose information. Oh, man, my chicken, my chicken sandwich just fell out. Damn. I got a lot of responsibility going on here. I mean, it just, you need to just take, you need to take care of your shit. How many batteries you got? I got two. Are oh. they, are they new? Uh, that's a really interesting question, Danny. Take note of where the sun is, will you? Now that ain't a joke. Here we go. Follow, follow, follow. Yeah, we're on. Geocaching's become quite the phenomenon worldwide. It's a great way to get out and see the outdoors. It's the having an adventure in your own neighborhood. People of all walks are doing it, doctors, lawyers, kids. It's great for everybody, and here in North Georgia especially. Okay, this is where we go native. 
my GPS is telling me that it wants us to go this way. Now, geocaching is done mostly in public lands. It's available space, you don't need permission. There's well-marked trails. But the way I like to do it is bushwhack, direct line, and that's the most fun. I hate these rocks. I wish they'd never put them there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 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 don't go down there. Easy, wait, wait, wait. Easy. I got him, I got him. Wait, 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 wait. I got him. Sweet. Sweet. Check this out. Check that bad boy out. This is a black rat snake. And he's good and full. He looks like he's been eaten in what they normally eat are rodents of various types, rats, moles, voles, mice, and eggs. He eats once, goes looking for something else right away. So they're always on the move, and that's how we find them. That's how we found them today. He's moving, looking for something to eat. And he's a beautiful snake. Now let's let him go. <laughs> 